Yeah, I did, but uh, here we are today with KISS 63. We're sitting here in Sundance Square. We're, we're here with Robbie and, and with Zach at the uh, the Mercury uh, Chop House, and or what do we call it, the Chop Chop Shop? Chop Shop. We get the best chop chops shop. out here, right here. Um, and, you know, what a great venue, what a great place, great weather, 100 degrees out today, but yet out in this... Uh, out in this porch, what a great time. What Man, a great time. It's, it's great. They got a little breeze going on, and uh, we got people behind us about to watch the game. Everybody's hyped for the game, and uh, the NFL is about to start. You know, we're going to we're gonna rock it off with the Cowboys and Giants, and uh, we're just going to, like Jerry said, we're just going to kick some ass. Of course, I want to start with your past. Let's talk about okay. your days with the, with the Cowboys, your football career, coming out of, you know, a college and stepping into the field with with the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, you were with Switzer, right? I was with Switzer, I was with Chan Gailey, and then uh, I was with... Well, we uh, played together with Chan Gailey. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. That's where Chan it got. Right. We had some fun. Right, had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, you know? we didn't go all the way, but we got to the playoffs. Just yeah. didn't have that same kick that no, you guys had back in the day. No, we did But, hey, you know, hopefully they can uh, get that sixth Super Bowl this year. You know what? And, we'll uh, find out tonight, won't we? Ooh, wow, yeah, with a, with a major contest tonight, too. Uh, as far as my uh, days with the, uh, the Cowboys, they were great. Uh, met a great, a lot of great people. Met you, Mike, Mick Solomon, Mick Dixon Edwards, and uh, quite a few other guys on the team. Uh, fulfilled my dream to play within the NFL. Uh, if you knew my story, my background, where I came from, Detroit, Michigan, it was a totally blessing for me to get in the NFL. Uh, played six years, uh, defensive back. Played with great people, Dion, we all did. Dion, Mike, Troy. Uh, I cherish those years. I wish I could go back. Hey, these guys right now, they about to have fun They're out there. They're in the moment. Man. They're in the moment, man, you know. They're in the moment. So uh, the, the game was good to me. Very good to me, and uh, I'm very appreciative. Well, you know, I want to go into another question. I want to give me a, give me a story. Give me yeah. one good story that's going to connect you with so many people that are listening today. A story that you're, you've been, you know, I don't care if it's out. I don't care about a heartfelt one, or if it's a funny one, or if it's okay. just something serious. Something that 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 just etched in your heart or your mind that happened to you. I don't care what it is. Just let's just connect with the people listening or watching. Well, I, like I said, my well, as I said before, uh, just a few minutes ago, if anybody knew my story in order to even get into the NFL, it was amazing, man. I never started in college. Okay, I. Um, was Prop 48, okay, red-shirted my freshman year, was Prop, no, my freshman year was Prop 48, my second year I was red-shirted, my third year I just played special teams, my fourth year they turned, my fourth, well, my fourth year I played special teams and, and uh, defense, now I went to my fifth year because I, I was Prop 48, so, um, the fact that I never started in college and still was able to be blessed and be drafted in the third round, that was amazing. That's amazing. That is amazing. Drafted That's in the third amazing. round, not 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 starting at all in the, in in the college. college. Well, but I yeah. started my, my, my rookie season. Right. My, 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 fresh, my, 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 my senior year okay. uh, at free safety, but I broke my forearm and missed the last five games of the season. You must hit so some arms, because that, that was one thing about you. You, you got the biggest, <laughs> one of the biggest sets of arms for a DB in the NFL. Yeah, so C Dub is in the house. Yeah, C Dub's in the house. It was, it was, it was. A, believe me, it was, it was. I couldn't believe that I got drafted in the third round with those circumstances hanging over my head. So it was. Okay, you get to the Cowboys camp. Okay, I get to the Cowboys camp. You know, my uh, roommate. He's a Dallas Cowboy fan. He was a Dallas Cowboy fan in, in the college. I was a San Francisco 49er fan. All right? Man, you know, in that 93 Super, no, 90, 94 playoff game where the Cowboys lost, man, I just dogged them. You know, I killed them, you know. And uh, next, you know, 95, I got drafted. And he called me and said, now you got to play with him. You know, so when I came in the locker room, I was like, wow, I'm playing with Dixon Edwards. No, I didn't. It's like, yeah, I did. I said, I'm playing with Dixon Edwards. I'm playing with uh, Emmett Smith, Troy, Mike. It was. You became one of the boys. Right.
Hey, tell me some some of the things that you do with your daughter. Oh man, everything, man. I'm from Chuck E. Cheese to Toys R Us. Now, how to, old is she now? She's eight. Okay. Yeah, right. My other daughter's six. Okay. And, My daughter's uh, twelve, so we've been doing a lot more things. I took her out shooting one time, actually. Wow. Yeah, she's learning how to shoot. I figured wow. we're in Texas, might as well learn how to Whoa. shoot a gun and Whoa. do it properly. Yeah. Well, maybe she'll be a serial killer. You know what? I don't know about cereal, but maybe a seal. <laughs> she okay. wants to be a pro, a pro volleyball player. Oh, that's cool, man. Maybe I'll see it in the Olympics one day. You never know. You never know. Now, um, you know, we do things, you know, uh, right. we take her all different places. And I like to talk about it. Right. Tell me some of the places that you've taken your daughter and, and the reason why. And I'm going to go, go into why I do the daddy daughter days. Okay, well, the reason why I take my daughter is because she's just bugging me all day to take her somewhere, you know? <laughs> you know, uh, no, actually, um, on trips, every trip we could go to, where it's cruises, uh, uh, Disney World, uh, the museum. Uh, just simple things sometimes, too, just at, to the park. You know, she loves to go to the park, and, man, it, when I take her to the pool swimming, man. Right. I can't get her out of the pool. Right. She loves to swim. And, uh, man, it's a great time. It's a great time. You know, talking about a great time, sounds like they're having a great time here over at right. the chop house. Right, right. You know, the chop house. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? You're not talking right now, to me. Huh? You're talking well, hey, to everyone man, listening. Hey, man, the game's about to start. The NFL season's about to start, man. And that's what you it's know? about. Hey. No, no, actually, I'm, I'm right now in the real estate. Okay. I'm in my real estate. Uh, I'm my uh, rent houses, and, and that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's you come back a little bit later. We're going to watch a little bit of this game. We're going to okay. enjoy some You're gonna enjoy some food. We're going to enjoy some fun times here. Okay. The kickoff just went off. Yeah. And we're going to sign off for a little bit and watch this game and enjoy it. Okay. We'll be Most back definitely. a little bit later. We'll Most get definitely. up Solomon Page, yeah. and then we'll have Mike Mullen, one of our uh, normal uh, weekly guests with us, too. You know Mike. Yeah, I know Mike. Yeah. All right, let's enjoy the game. All right, appreciate it. Ha, ha, ha.